Forza Horizon 5 is full of incredible custom event labs maps made by creative players from the community. So I've put together this video of 5 event labs maps you must try. Let's get into it. So kicking things off we have Farm Raceway by Twisted Knot. This is a very unique and new idea because most custom racetrack maps are designed to look like a normal real life racetrack. But this one is made to feel like a racetrack that goes around a farm and I have to say Twisted Knot has done a very good job at it. Having those barns and duck ponds around a racetrack is certainly a rogue idea, but I'm sure it won't be long until F1 start copying this. The track contains a nice mix of low, medium and high speed corners, which is always nice in a racetrack, so it's certainly enjoyable to drive. Next up we have Cloverfield Mansion from Dark Skos. This mansion is perfect for those of you who like taking photos of your cars. It looks really offensive as if it's just part of the map. And unlike a lot of so-called mansions in event labs, this is actually the size of one. And along with the helicopter on the roof, it properly looks like one. Around the back on the balcony, there is a white sheet background which you can use for doing photo shoots with your cars. The sunset over the clover field also provides a nice scenic backdrop. Moving on to the next map, we have Sueños Callejeros. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this map is made by Joe. OC, which again I hope I pronounced correctly. But anyway, this map completely transforms the festival site into a big lit up city. The structures and tunnels of it look really cool, and it gives the vibes of Japanese street racing, which you can't not like. As far as I know, there's no free roam version of this map, which would have been good, but at least the race is quite fun. Something that's a bit unfortunate is that you may experience lag with this map, especially with older gen consoles, because so many props have been used, but hopefully that won't take too much away from the experience. For the penultimate map, we have Forest Rally by James Miata. Usually we focus solely on the map itself, but on this one it's impossible to ignore the custom rules that have been used to great effect. The pits are genuinely functional, and at the race start you have to hold the handbrake for 5 seconds before you can start the stage. The course itself is really fun too, and feels like a proper rally stage, so you have to give this a go, even if you aren't particularly into rally sort of races. Finally, we have Hell's Container Dock, made by HSK Meats. Now, most Event Labs maps do still feel like Event Labs maps, no matter how realistic they may be, but this one, while you can still tell it is an Event Labs map, it doesn't really feel like it. The water off the side of the dock is real water. Okay, I know it's not actually real real, but you know what I mean. It's real water in the game, and it's not just blue panels, like what they have in Miami. The container yard is the perfect Gymkhana playground, so it's a lot of fun to drift around. And the fact it's built on the ocean, and you have the edge of the dock which you can fall off into the water, just makes it so much more cool. The structures of this map, like the cranes and container ships off the shore, just make this map so, so good. But anyway, that's it for this video. There's six previous videos on the series, so if you enjoyed this one, be sure to check all of them out. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.